Hello everyone, Clint Seeley here. Um, in this next tutorial I'm going to show you how to take the the OWL SVG graphic that we found on Google Images and import it into a program we call Inkscape. Now if you remember Inkscape is the free vector editing program that I had you all uh, download and install in the previous tutorial. So that should already be on your computer. If it's not, go back and reference that tutorial and go ahead and download and install Inkscape. If you've done that, on your desktop there should be a little icon right here called Inkscape that looks like this. I want you to go ahead and double click on that and that will load the Inkscape program. <clears throat> Alright, here's Inkscape. Now I'm going to maximize the size by clicking that box. Um, and don't let the, when it opens up, don't let this uh, discourage you. Oh great, I have to learn a new program. Look at all of these features. I'm only going to cover with you, one at a time, the features that are necessary to take that SVG graphic and and really prepare it correctly for digitizing. Okay, so we don't have to learn all of this. All right, let's scroll to the, let's move our mouse to the right and just hover over this little icon. And this, it's the same way with all the icons. If you hover over an icon inside the Inkscape program and stop, it's a little dialog box will pop up and it'll tell you what that particular tool does. This one is the import. So we're going to import a graphic into, into the program. Now here's the alpha digitizing. It, yours may not immediately pop up to the correct location, so you need to use this drop down menu to find the folder that has your image in it. And if you named it the same as I did, it'll be called Alpha Digitizing. So I'm going to open that. It's going to place the image right here um, in your document. Now I want to zoom in. So I'm going to click the little eyeglass here, and I'm going to click a couple times so the owl's nice and big. We're going to center that guy and go back and hit your um, transform button and that selects the entire image. Now what we want to do here, um, we've imported the SVG but we want to break all the elements apart. And what that means is we want to be able to colorize this wing and this wing and this center chest. We want to bust those elements apart. As you can see right now this is one big element. So it's selected. We're going to right click and move on down to where it says ungroup. Now we've ungrouped everything and now you can see there's little boxes around all of the little elements of the owl. Now I'm going to go and click out here on the background and then click, I'm going to click elements individually. Now since um, and I, since we, um, yeah, I like that color better, since I'm going to digitize this or prepare this for maybe a baby blanket for a little baby girl, I'm just going to colorize the owl pink colors. Okay, so stick with me. Now these, these might not be perfect. These might not be the, the colors that we decide to stay with, but just kind of follow along with me. And we can change the colors at any time. I'm going to show you some really cool color wheel features inside uh, V6 a little bit later. Um, the nose will make that, that nose a little bit darker, like that there. Um, the colors may not be perfect when we start off here, and that's okay. Ooh, get that one. Ooh, get that one. As you can see what I'm doing, I'm just preparing this uh, image by colorizing everything. Now the, the white eyeballs are going to stay white um, so that won't really change when you click that down there. So now what we've got is we've colorized, we've broken the image apart and we've colorized all of the elements which we can we can change the colors later as well but I just wanted to kind of give you a visual. Now that we've done that I'm going to go into the file and we're going to do a save as and we're going to name, instead of an SVG, we're going to come down here and save it as an enhanced meta file, an EMF. And if you remember from the previous tutorial what that is, just name the file, OWL, EMF, and we're going to click Save. And then hit the OK. And that's it for this particular tutorial.